this weekend we have just a crazy bunch of stuff happening. We have, for the first time, the International Underwater Robotics Competition. So we've got 13 countries represented, 18 different states, so folks from you know west coast to east coast, um, almost a thousand people right here in Alpena. You know, this competition, the Remotely Operated Vehicle, or ROV competition, is a great way for students to apply what they're learning in the classroom. So the science, technology, engineering, and math, all those academic subjects, this is a real application. So they gain appreciation for why they're learning and how important those skills are. Well, so far the competition's going really well. Our team um, just did our first run, and they did okay, but there were some complications. I like how they set an area that is actually where the habitat is and how they really set up in a very authentic place. I, I like how all the teams are from all over the world. It really gives this competition a wider feeling. The regional competition for the MATE ROV uh, is held in Alpena, hosted by Thunder Bay National Marine Sanctuary and Alpena Community College each year, usually in April or this year we were in May because we were anticipating holding the international shortly after. The regional event is a, a preview of the international competition. One set of missions um, is put out by the Mate Center each year, and each of the 22 regional events across the country and internationally um, holds uh, the competition in whatever venue they're able to access. And there's classes from elementary school all the way through high school. Also, the college level explorer class is able to come and demonstrate their vehicle at at a regional event. The uh, regional competition here in Alpena uh, brings students from across Michigan and uh, also Ohio. Previously uh, it was even brought across the Great Lakes but now there's a competition in Milwaukee, Wisconsin and also in Chicago at Shedd Aquarium. So with three Great Lakes competitions we have good coverage around the Great Lakes. So I volunteered to support the judging. I was a poster judge this year. Posters were incredible. Some of them were just market ready. Uh, we could take them to a trade show and they could probably sell a vehicle today. So we were really impressed with the quality of the posters and the effort that the teams really put into them. My role here is an uh, engineering judge and I, uh, I participated with two other judges on engineering presentations for the, for the uh, Explorer class. They have a 15 minute uh, engineering presentation where they tell us all about their ROV, their team, and uh, all the challenges that they had to face. The knowledge that the kids have and the enthusiasm that they have for this program is just amazing. This was actually a career change for me because originally I was, uh, I was actually a bus driver for five years and then decided that I didn't really like that career anymore and I really needed something that was actually going to challenge me intellectually and give me the opportunity to travel the world and meet new interesting people with different cultures and, and fantastic stories to tell. What interests me most about ROV work is the robotics involved in it, the controls. Um, I enjoy piloting the ROVs, I enjoy building the ROVs. The design of them is very interesting to me. Also, I enjoy being able to go down there and make a difference. By having industry professionals here, judges from the marine industry, even from the space industry, from robotics industries, that helps the students to see those skills can lead to a really wonderful, fantastic, and potentially lucrative career. Working with ROVs, um, it's not something in India, it's not something which is very widely used. So it was since our, it was our first time in the competition and it was underwater, it was a double challenge for us. Working with ROVs is thus a very um, a novel concept in India, so it's, it got all of us excited when we first heard of it. We've already thought of many applications where underwater ROVs can be held in our country, like the oil rigs offshore, and we, have, um, we can be used in the Navy. So these are things which, uh, which are preparing more than us, they're preparing our future for our country. So that makes us feel really proud about it. This competition does a great job in helping them to develop what are called 21st century workplace skills. Things like teamwork, project management, critical thinking, problem solving, resourcefulness, you know, really coming together to uh, create a group, a company, and work towards completing a project and um, performing here at the competition. I think this is preparing us for the future because it's 
because we have engineering evaluations where we have to go talk to judges. I think it's helping us with public speaking and it's helping us with um, science and math and it's helping us learning um, engineering and mechanics. You know, at, at first glance, you might think, you know, this, this quiet, peaceful town on Lake Huron, um, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't think that you'd find a hub of marine technology and, and the, the future of the blue economy um, here in Alpena, but um, nevertheless, here it is. We've got 60 world-class robots battling it out in a tank right here in Alpena along the Thunder Bay River. Some of the things we use wrote, um, we've got sinkholes. The Middle Island sinkhole, it could drop down to 80 feet. We start off 20 feet of water and drop right down, but that has trapped deoxygenated water. And that water that's coming out of the aquifer has been like a thousand years underground before it came back to surface. It has chemistry that nobody knows about. And that makes a major find for science because it could be the, what we need in the future to solve problems that we don't even know we have today. Should they have a rove competition in Alpena? This is probably one of the best places in the world to go do it. Usually mate doesn't seem to tend to come to a, a small community like Alpena, Michigan, but I think they are really seeing the benefits of coming to a community like this that has such tremendous support, uh, not only for the National Marine Sanctuary here, but for this program. Now, I will say that Alpena is the smallest city that we've been in, but I think it's the one with the biggest heart. The community has really rallied together to support this event, from the hotel owners to the business owners to just the volunteers that are here. They've taken teams to Home Depot to get supplies. They've taken them to places to get um, printing done. They've helped those who, for English isn't, isn't their first language, they've really help them to understand and get around. They've been amazingly supportive. Well, yeah, I would just like to uh, express gratitude to, to Mate for putting on a fantastic competition and for Alpina for uh, giving us such friendly hospitality and just being really welcoming. Everyone's been absolutely fantastic here and it's just been an absolute pleasure to come and visit this part of the States. The, the sanctuary and the partnerships we have with the community are really bringing the world to Alpena. And it's so important for not only the citizens of Alpena, but Northeast Michigan and even the whole state to really realize what we have here to offer. Um, the marine technology, the, the maritime heritage. I mean, really something for everyone. There's uh, a lot of science, technology, engineering, and math skills that we focus on here and that people can learn from, whether they're young students or um, you know students of all ages.